Hi everyone, uh, my name is Yusuke Hamada. I am serving as a chair of the Research Day Planning Committee this year in 2020. Uh, this year, unfortunately, uh, we are not able to have this event due to the COVID-19 situation. Uh, following the guideline from President McRobie, a message to the entire IU community, we canceled IUSD Research Day event at the IUPUI Campus Center on April 6, 2020. However, we created the online archives of the posters from the all participants and have the judging event to recognize all of your hard work. We had faced many difficulties in changing the format and event itself within short time of period. I sincerely appreciate all your patience and understandings. At this time, I'd like to thank to all members of the Research Day Planning Committee and uh, Indiana section of AADL officers for their hard work and efforts throughout uh, this uh, annual tradition at IUSD. Although we cannot meet pers in person at the campus center this year, I'd like to start the virtual research day award ceremony. First of all, I'd like to invite Dean Madok Kinch for welcome remarks. Welcome to the 2020 Indiana University School of Dentistry Research Day. I'm Dean Carol Ann Murdoch Kinch, and it's my pleasure to be with you today to share the results of our Research Day Awards. But first, let me say a few words about this year's Research Day. Research is core to our mission at Indiana University School of Dentistry. And we have a proud tradition of excellence in research. Going back to almost our inception as a dental school, research is core to our mission as an integral member of our university, which is a large, comprehensive, public research university. We're proud of the impact that we have made in the past and will continue to do to improve the oral health and systemic health of people here in Indiana, as well as around the world. This year, that global impact and, and uh, sense of, of being connected was very acute and, and very real. This year's research day had to be rescheduled because of the impacts of the global pandemic, the novel coronavirus, COVID-19. Currently, we are working and learning and conducting research from home and essential research activities and essential other activities, including clinical care for patients, are still occurring at the School of Dentistry. However, we had to conduct our research presentations virtually and at the same time, it provided an opportunity for our students, faculty, staff and residents to present the results of months or even years of hard work and research discoveries that will impact the health of people um, for many years to come. Thank you, uh, Dean Madokinch, for a great warm welcome. And next, I would like to invite Dr. Chu on the podium. He will talk about updates of the current research situation at IU School of Dentistry. Please join me to welcome Dr. Chu. Hello. Dear IUSD family, I'm Gabriel Chu, the Associate Dean for Research. It is my great pleasure to speak to you on virtually on this research day. First, I would like to thank Dr. Hamada and his team for their innovation and persistence for this IUSD research day activity during this COVID-19 stay at home order. I can say that they took upon themselves a lot of coordinations behind the scene to make it happen. I want to thank Dr. Um, Merda Kinch for her vision for her research and for providing tremendous support that we can carry on this tradition. I'm so proud to see that IUSD as a whole continue to thrive in our, under these challenging circumstances. And indeed, we're thriving in our research endeavor with a set goal to enhance our research of engaging in recruiting new faculties and supporting faculty research activities in the past few years. And with our conscious effort, we start to see our faculty receiving more federal funding. For example, NIDCR, the National Institute of Dental and Cranial Facial Research, 
each year they publish the ranking of the funding that is distributed to general schools nationwide. In this past year, our fiscal year of 2018 and 19, IUSD has reached the highest ranking we have ever had in 10 years on the list. Of course, there's still a lot of room to improve, but I'm proud that we're moving in a very positive trajectory in our goal of enhancing our federally funded research at IUSD. Parallel to that, we continue to see our students engaging in high student research projects. An example will be from our class 2022 dental student, Ashley Kurchowski. She was awarded a prestigious Fogarty Fund Fellowship from NIH, and she has spent several months in Kenya to study periodontal disease in HIV positive adults. She has just now been elected the vice president of AADR, National Student Research Group, before she flew back to Indiana from Kenya due to the pandemic. Beyond that, I'm very impressed by the depth and the width of many research projects that have reviewed from this year's research day submission. And my sincere hope that you will carry on that spirit of inquiry, no matter where you go, and in whichever career path you take, be it in the academic or in private practice. And I would like now would like you to, to have the opportunity to listen to two of our faculty who have just received new NIH funding in this past year to talk about their research. Do keep in mind, they were once a regular dental student, just like you are, and I hope you'll be inspired by how they take the desire of inquiry and to continue to pursue new knowledge so they can advance the profession of dental, dentistry. Thank you so much. So I'm Tankam Taiwi Likagat. I'm an associate professor and director of the Joint Dental Informatics Program at the IU School of Dentistry and Regan Street Institute. I'm also a research scientist at the Center for Biomedical Informatics in Regan Street Institute, which is a nonprofit organization that supports only the work of Indiana University. I'm a dentist and health informatics researcher I also trained as an oral and maxillofacial surgeon in India and have a PhD degree in biomedical informatics and a certificate in clinical research from University of Pittsburgh. I spent half a day a week uh, in the clinic as a clinic faculty, which is a huge experience for me. It feeds into my research. I also teach a graduate level course that introduces informatics concepts here in Indianapolis, we have the largest health information exchange in the country, the Indiana Health Information Exchange, through which we are able to access clinical data from more than 100 hospitals and other ambulatory care facilities. And Regan Street is able to use that information for research. So the opportunity we have here is the ability to match our patient's dental record information with their medical record information. I want to thank, you know, IU School of Dentistry leadership and Regan Street Institute, especially Dean John Williams, uh, Dean Murdoch Hinge, Dr. Kovalik, Dr. Chu, everybody, you know, who have been extremely supportive. They have provided me with all support, which is uh, very important for us to uh, expand in this area. Uh, you know, that, that means a lot. Uh, my name is Simone Duarte. I am from Brazil. I've been in the U.S. since 2003. I have a DDS, a Master and PhD in Pharmacology. So my component here, the main component of my position here is research. So I do have some commitment in the uh, curriculum. I teach, I teach biofilm lectures for the DDS course. I also teach for the graduate program in several courses, including laboratory courses. But I would say my biggest uh, involvement is actually by mentoring students, which I love to do. I'm very happy and the students here are so 
well prepared and so enthusiastic. So this is actually a, a very nice environment for that. In 2017, I received actually a, an email from a colleague uh, regarding the position here at IU. IUSD, as you all know, has an excellent research environment and they were recruiting a professor to do research in biofilms, which is also my area of expertise. So the position had a big component in research. That is something I was actually looking for. Uh, I think IU, had, it's a tremendous, like, I have tremendous support here. It's an excellent place to work. I think the environment and the community is what I appreciate the most here at IU. I'm very happy with my, my move, and we are very happy here as a family as well. Uh, next, uh, we, do, we would like to move to the award announcements. Dean Madhu Kinch, Dr. Burzaniti, and myself will make the announcement today. We have a total of 19 hours and the total of 22 recipients today. Dean Madhu Kinch, please start. Without further ado, I would like to get started with announcing the awards uh, for today's research day, which includes some school-wide awards. And the first award is the IU School of Dentistry Alumni Association Distinguished Faculty Award for Teaching for 2020. The IU School of Dentistry Alumni Association Distinguished Faculty Award for Teaching recipient is selected each year by the award recipients from the three previous years. The previous recipients review the CVs and faculty annual reviews of each nominee and then select an individual for the award based on the accomplishments of that individual. The IU School of Dentistry Alumni Association Distinguished Faculty Award um, for teaching awardee for 2020 became a full-time member of the faculty of IUSD in 2018. Um, after 32 years of full-time private practice. This faculty member is a 1982 graduate of IUSD and completed a general practice residency at Johns Hopkins University in 1983. Additional career achievements include earning mastership in the Academy of General Dentistry, serving 20 years as an Indiana Academy of General Dentistry board member, and earning life membership in both the Indiana and the American Dental Associations. This faculty member is held in high regard by both our students and faculty. This individual has sacrificed countless personal hours for the support and growth of the Indiana University School of Dentistry Student Outreach Clinic. Students have received immeasurable instruction in the outreach clinic setting. Along with being a student mentor as a clinic director, he has also selflessly provided faculty coverage for the DDS Oral Surgery Clinic during a time of need and provided the leadership for the IUSD Emergency Clinic. He has undertaken the revision and updating of many clinic policy and procedure manuals. We are all indebted to him for his contributions in the emergency clinic during the 2020 spring COVID-19 pandemic that went well beyond what most of us know or understand. Without further ado, please join me in giving hearty congratulations to this year's IU School of Dentistry Alumni Association Distinguished Faculty Award for Teaching. This year's recipient is Dr. Michael E. Savanich. Congratulations and thank you, Dr. Savanich. The next award that I'm proud to announce is for the 2020 IUSD Alumni Association Distinguished Faculty Award for Research. This year's awardee is a productive and successful researcher that has trained or held faculty positions at multiple institutions in the United States and internationally. She received her Doctor of Dental Surgery degree from the State University of Capinas Dental School of Piracicaba in Brazil in 1999, followed by her Master's and PhD degrees from the same institution in 2002 and 2005, respectively. 
Upon completion of her doctoral training, she served as a visiting scholar at the University of Rochester in New York, followed by an appointment to her first tenure track faculty position at New York University in 2007. She then served as clinical associate professor at NYU from 2013 to 2017 before joining IUSD as associate professor in 2017. This year's awardee currently maintains visiting scholar status at the Federal University of Piara Fortaleza in Brazil, in addition to her faculty appointment at IUSD. She has served as research co-mentor or mentor to several dental and graduate students at IUSD during her tenure here, in addition to her extensive service on graduate student research committees. Her research program has several areas of focus with the examination of therapeutic and physiologic influences on oral biofilm serving as a key area of emphasis. In 2019, this researcher successfully competed for an R21 award from the National Institute of Craniofacial and Dental Research and the National Institutes of Health as PI for a study entitled, Low Temperature Plasma as an Approach for the Treatment of Periimplantitis. In addition, she was also awarded funding from the International Academy of Oral Medicine and Toxicology as co-PI for a project titled, Evaluation of the Antimicrobial and Osteogenic Potential of Various Concentrations of Medical Ozone in a Physiological Saline Solution as well as on a project focused on tissue engineering and microfluidics in the control of oral biofilm diseases and their application on local and systemic conditions, awarded by CAPES Print PRINT in Brazil. She has been a member of and served in various capacities in several professional organizations related to dentistry throughout her career, and since joining IUSD, her involvement in teaching and curriculum development has been impressive and highlights her various talents and positive influence she has imparted on the IUSD community. Let me congratulate the winner of the 2020 IUSD Alumni Association Distinguished Faculty Award for Research, Dr. Simone Duarte. Congratulations, Dr. Duarte. Start. And the third award is the 2020 Indiana AADR Research Staff Award. The 2020 recipient of the Indiana AADR Staff Award for Research joined the Oral Health Research Institute as an hourly technician working in the tooth processing lab. Since then, he has worked his way up to become the supervisor of both the tooth processing and erosive toothware labs, and also the OHRI Laboratory Research Corps Liaison for in-situ site studies. The recipient's contributions to IUSD research can be verified by his publications and support work. He has co-authored two papers in the last two years in peer-reviewed international journals. Since 2010, he has trained more than 33 students on laboratory procedures at OHRI and helped faculty and visiting researchers to conduct their research projects, supporting the IUSD departments of Cariology, Operative Dentistry and Dental Public Health, Endodontics, Orthodontics, Prosthodontics, Pediatric Dentistry, and Biomedical and Applied Sciences and Comprehensive Care. The recipient is constantly recognized by coworkers, students, and faculty for his remarkably positive attitude and proactive behavior. In 2017, he was a recipient of the IUSD Staff Scholarship Award. In parallel, he studies biology at IUPUI and has made the IUPUI School of Science Scholars List in the fall of 2015 and spring of 2016. Please let me congratulate the 2020 recipient of the Indiana AADR Staff Award for Research, Mr. Adam Kelly. Congratulations, Adam. 
The fourth award that I'd like to announce is the award known as the Dean's Award for Research Excellence. And this year's recipient is one of our graduating dental students, Mr. Reed McKenney. Congratulations, Reed. Congratulations to all of the award winners today. Thank you, Dean Mado Kinch. Uh, next two student hours will be announced by Dr. Brzezaniti. Please join me to welcome Dr. Angela Brzezaniti. Hi everyone. For those of you who don't know me, I'm Dr. Angela Brzezaniti and I'm the Director of Dental Student Research. Each year I have the pleasure of announcing the recipients of the Student Research Awards and Honours. The first is the 2020 Research Honours Program Certificate of Achievement Award. This program recognises outstanding student researchers that have shown a sustained dedication to dental research. There are several qualifying requirements for research honours, including conducting multiple years of research while at RUSD. Students must also have participated and presented their research findings at RUSD and at the national international meetings such as AADR, IADR. Students should also have demonstrated scholarly activity, including the submission of research manuscripts for publication in a scientific journal. Because of the rigor of this program, only a few students achieve research honors. And this year we have just one recipient. I am pleased to announce that the recipient of the research honors for 2020 is Reed McKinney. Our final award is the most prestigious research award. And this is the Cyril S. Carr Research Scholarship Award. This scholarship goes to any D4, DDS or IDP student who has been engaged in high quality research in any field of dentistry, with a special emphasis on research conducted over multiple years. As this is the one of the most prestigious research awards that is offered to our dental students, it comes with a substantial financial gift. The award recipient is chosen based on a submitted nomination letters and by majority vote of the Graduate Research Committee. The recipient of the 2020 Cyril S. Carr Research Scholarship Award is, perhaps you've already guessed it, the recipient is Reed McKinney. Please join me in congratulating Reed McKinney for outstanding achievements in research throughout dental school and for being the recipient of all three research awards this year. In closing, I would like to also recognize and thank all of our research students and their faculty mentors for their exceptional professionalism and dedication to the advancement of evidence-based dentistry. And I look forward to seeing everyone soon. Bye. Okay, it's my turn now. First award, what I would like to announce is King South University Distinguished Research Faculty Travel Award. The purpose of this award is to recognize faculty who foster the next generation of researchers. Any IUSD faculty engaged in the student research is eligible to apply for this award. This year, King South University a Distinguished Research Faculty Travel Awards goes to Dr. Richard Gregory. Congratulations, Dr. Gregory, and I would like to thank you to your mentorship and leadership. Next award is Elizabeth A. Hugh Dental Hygiene Case Report Award. DH judging committee selected the awardees based on the excellence of dental hygiene case report. We have two recipients for this award this year. Recipients of the Elizabeth A. Hugh Dental Hygiene Case Report Awards are Anna Lindsay and Maria Lindbell. Congratulations. The following 10 awards from now on. These recipients were selected by judges during a judging event. We had the total of 40 candidates and 29 judges this year. All candidates competed at the judging event on April 22nd, Wednesday, via Zoom sessions. I would like to thank to all participants for this judging event again. This year, Dr. Frank Liebert and Ms. Kelly Searing organized this judging event. Both worked very hard to adjust the system by changing the format to online and creating Zoom meeting accounts, et cetera, et cetera. Let's take a moment to recognize Dr. Frank Rippert and Ms. Kelly Sirvin. Okay, let's move on to the award announcement again. Next award is 
IEN AADL undergraduate student award. In this category, those projects conducted by undergraduate students at ISD were eligible to apply. The title of the award-winning project this category is Inhibiting Growth of the Streptococcus Mutants Biofilm Used in the Sugar Hydrolyzing Enzyme Treatment. The recipient of this award is Sarah Alfafa. Congratulations. Next award is AADR Student Research Day Award. In this category, D1 through D3 students who conducted the research project at ISD were eligible to apply. The title of the award-winning project this year is Cornering in Predicting the Progression of Oral Pre-Malignant Lesions. The recipient of this award is Rebecca Schemberger. Congratulations. Next award is AADR Dent Price Sirona Student Award for Advancing Dental Research and its Application. Same as AADR Student Research Day Award. D1 through D3 students who conducted research project at ISD were eligible to apply. The recipient of this award will be sponsored to attend AADR in 2021. The title of the award winning project is Lankwell Independent Osteocoracial Genesis in S83 BP2 Chalvedon Mice. The recipient of this award is Marcus Levitan. Congratulations. Next award is IDA Student Research Award. Same as ADA Student Research Award, D13 D3 students to, uh, who conducted research projects at IUSD were eligible to apply. The title of the award-winning project is The Effect of Calorie Deletion of Outcell Site Function. The recipient of this award is Stephanie Kowak. Congratulations. Next award is King Saud University Travel Award for Excellence in Preventive Oral Health Care. The title of the award-winning study is Effect of N demethylation nicotine metabolites on oral streptococci biofilm formation. The recipient of this award is Reed McKinney. Congratulations. Next award is INADL D3 case report award. Unfortunately, we didn't receive any application to this year to into this category. I highly encourage current D2 students to consider to apply this award next year. Next award is INADL D4 Case Report Award. In this category, D4 students are eligible to apply to this award with clinical patient care. The title of the award-winning study is Application of CO2 Laser in Lingual Phrenectomy for Adult Ankylosia. The recipient of this award is Brandy Heron. Congratulations. Next award is Delta Dental Award for Innovation in Oral Care Research. Graduate students, master students are eligible to apply this award. Due to the significant number of applicants this year, we selected two winners. First, the title of the project is Effect of Pediatric Dental Crowns on Human Gingival Fibroblasts. The recipient is Dr. Katrin Brower. Another project is effect of STF and KI on a pre-bacterial species biofilm. The recipient is Dr. Roland Long. Congratulations. Next award is King Saud University Travel Award for Best Clinical Case Report. Graduate students are eligible to apply to this award. Again, due to the significant number of applicants this year, we selected two winners as well. First, the title of the project is Biologic Modifiers for Periodontal Regenerative Procedures, a case report. The recipient of this award is Dr. Nilfer Danish Power. Another award-winning project is Implant-Supported Calcium Milk Zirconia Processes Supported by Titanium Bar. The recipient is 
Dr. Saud al Qatani. Next award is King Saud University PhD Student Travel Award. In this category, PhD students were eligible to apply. The title of award winning project is Dietary Fluoride Intake of Pregnant Women from the Element Project. The recipient of this award is Dr. Gina Casti Blanco. Last award, what I would like to announce today is Maynard K. Hein Award for Excellence in Dental Research. All MSD and PhD students are eligible to apply this award. The Maynard K. Hein Award was created to recognize excellence in research and to encourage dental graduate students to continue in dental research. The award's name will be engraved on the award plaque kept in the Indian University School Dentistry Library and published in the Explorer along with the title of the research and the collaborators. The title of the manuscript for this award is The Effect of on Rich Dimensions, Bone Density, and Implant Primary Stability with Osteodensification Approach in Implant Osteotomy Preparation. The recipient of this award is Dr. Yu Ting Ye. Uh, he is a periodontal graduate student, class of 2019. Thanks everyone for sharing a valuable time today with us. I would like to congratulate all our recipients. Also, I would like to appreciate all undergrad students, dental students, graduate students, PhD students, staff, and the faculty members to make our research day successful. This year, we couldn't hold an in-person meeting, however. I hope everyone enjoys this online format. Please log in the Canvas course and check all posters. And you will see how much of the research project have been done at IUSD. You will recognize that the various types of the project have been completed and many are ongoing. I'm very proud of being part of this community because many people at IUSD are actively engaged with research activities. I am expecting the continuous research activity at IUSD, and we will see you at Research Day event next year in 2021 again. Thanks again for all your support, and please stay safe and healthy. Thank you. <laughs>